Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm Leonard and today we are doing three laps of Park Parameter Loop, the second stage of the Zwift Racing League. And with me today is my friend, teammate and captain of the team, John. John, Hello. can you can you please say a few words to all my 27 subscribers? Yourself, Chad and my wife included. Just okay, say hi. Okay, welcome to Leo's <laughs> channel. We're all new at Zwift Racing, so... <laughs> You know, it's just an exp learning experience for all of us. Um, it's a good way to look back on, you know, what we did in our races and learn from our mistakes. And so then yeah, I think mm. we'll talk about a few mistakes that we might have made during this race. Yeah, I hope everybody can learn from that. Yes, three laps of the park parameter. 29.7 km long. Um, I think we climb a total of 380. 8 meters. So let's start with um, what were your thoughts you know, coming into the race? It's gonna be hard, it's gonna be fast. You know, those kickers you, you really have to push in or get dropped, and once you're dropped, it's almost impossible to get back to the main group, right? Mm. So, yeah, yeah, you really have to empty yourself even if you don't want to. Mm. You have a choice, right? Uh, remember we did a recon right after the first stage. Yes. And then it was exactly the same. Three laps of the park parameter. In the third lap, I was personally experimenting, trying to see how long I could draft until I saw a gap and quickly pushed on. But it was a bit too late for you. So how did that help you coming into this race? Especially since you, you, know, you, you finished in the top 10. Yeah, so in the recon, um, I saw sort of did what you you did as well, mm. not just in the last lap but also in the first few laps to see how much energy I can con conserve, mm. especially on the climbs like the Harlem Blue climb, right? Mm. Um, I'll see, can I maybe hold 4.5, 5 watts and not get dropped from the main group? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, if you do that and the gap forms, mm. that, that there's no way you can catch back up because they'll be pushing like 6 plus watts. And to even catch up to them, you will need to do like 7 to 8. Mm, mm, mm. And yeah, it's just not sustainable, so... Right, and then how, how did that actually help you coming into this race? So I treated every single of those key key spots as like a mini sprint, right? A mm, mini mm. segment that you just have to push all out. Right. Just so you don't get drunk. You can relax when, you know, you, you are in front and maybe there's a small gap. Mm. But you shouldn't... Like try to conserve while trying to chase. Mm. That, that would be just detrimental. Right. Alright, so moving on to the Harlem Hill climb. I felt good actually compared to the one we did at the recon. What about you? Um it actually felt a lot easier than our recon for some reason. So I'm not sure if it's because I was more well recovered mm. or this pace was just not as high. Mm-hmm. But I remember finishing this first segment thinking, okay, if, if this is going to be the pace, mm. I think I should be able to stick to the front group. Mm, mm, mm. And um, looking at it right now, right, I, so I already know that the kicker really comes in during this stretch, right, you know, the left turn, and then um, initially everyone was just doing like 5, 5.5 maybe, tops. Now everyone is just doing like 8, 7, so... How, how did it feel at this at this point of time? Yeah, so this is where you just have to treat it as like an all out, all out for yeah. the finish. Once you get it over the top, mm. make sure you don't let the gap form because it's extremely difficult to close the gap on the downhill. Correct, correct, correct. And I didn't realize when I was when I was um when I was riding, but then the, the group was actually quite stretched out now. And then um what I see while reviewing the video is that it didn't actually thin out the hurt that much, right? Do you realize or...? Uh, I think we did drop a few people but yeah, just a few. most part everybody stayed together. Yeah, yeah you see this, this part here, it was stretched and then everyone sort of came back. Yeah, I mean we're only 6 minutes into this. Yeah. <laughs> Not yeah. So, I think we can move on to the first sprint. What was it like for you? You you do yeah, remember you do remember the, 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 the climb up right the ramp up before yeah, the sprint. So I was about to say this sprint is deceptive because it doesn't actually start at the marker, mm. which you will see just over the crest of this hill. Mm. It starts 
basically at the bottom of the hill. So people will start attacking there, and if you're not paying attention mm. again, the, the gap will form, and you'll see that mm. you have mistake that I almost made at the end. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah, I didn't I didn't try to push at all. So I was like I mentioned earlier, really really worried about blowing myself up, especially there are still two more Harlem Hill climb coming up. Yeah, same. So <laughs> being conservative, I guess, mm. helps you net a higher finishing position. Mm. But you know, we lost a lot of points on these segments. Yeah, especially for a points Harlem race, right? Yeah, so for Harlem, we have one segment, right, for this whole course, but three laps, so three F, sorry, three FTS, no, one FTS for the whole race and three FALs across yeah. the three laps. Yeah. So that's quite a significant number of points, and because mm. there's only one segment, everybody's always pushing it. Right, right. So... With that, let's move on to the second Harlem. How was it like for you, the second Harlem? Um, I basically took it the same. Mm. Uh, the only difference is for this one, I have an envy as well. Mm. So once I'm over the top, I just dropped the envy and basically rested all the way to the next semi climb. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, it's hard. <laughs> I, was always, I was like treating it. Every single one of these has like a full out sprint. Mm, 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 mm. The anvil, we, I don't know. So I, I know in the in the group chat, talking about whether or not we should even use the anvil, right? Because if we used it at the wrong time, it could work against us. Yeah. So I was I was seeing whether to use or not. And I was like, oh shit! And and thing that we actually watched um one of the races one of the races live before ours. And we saw how they make use of the anvil. Yeah, by far I think this place is the best place to use the anvil. You see, I'm just literally creating a huge gap. Yeah, and that huge gap actually allows us to allow us to rest a lot more. There's right, big climb coming up. So right at this point, mm. there's a there's a climb coming up. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes depending on which group you are riding with, I I think they might attack on this climb as well. Mm. But, so, mm. but the gap right now between like pushing three watts per yeah. kg, mm. basically resting while the rest try to catch up. Yeah, and the, and the gap is actually quite huge, right? So we could actually rest for <coughs> quite a while. I was actually not doing anything for <laughs> this entire duration, and then yeah. just a bit of kicker, and then it's just like what zone one, two, three, just to rest. I don't know why I'm putting effort here. Is it because I saw like this this dude or what was the group catching up? Uh, maybe if you thought there could be a breakaway, but yeah, I think it's very hard. Yeah, so I even checked back. I even checked back. I was like, okay, where are the guys right now? Because yeah, because I have to, I have to get ready to to enter the group. Right? Yeah. Because if not, if I still maintain my pace, then the draft, I I, I wouldn't get a draft. Then the group would just go past me. Then I have to make another search just to get back to the group. Yeah. Second sprint, another uncontested sprint in the race. Yeah, the TMBR, TMRB team basically cleaned up all the points for this course. Hmm. Hey, why the dude actually using the started using the anvil so so early? No idea. It could be because um. There's a climb coming up after the screen, or maybe he just mistyped it. You know what I realized is that you can actually, uh, because I tried this recently, right? Um, you can actually bin whatever you have right now as well. Yeah. So it's already right, but you can still bin it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just thinking. You, can, you, you cannot bin it once you use it, right? You it recently when I was doing a my base at. Uh, it was just yesterday, I think I tried. And I bin both, so I'm not sure if that would work in a race as well. You can you can probably bin it if you don't use it, but can you use it and then bin it to <coughs> stop the effect halfway? You, I don't think you can. I just did it yesterday. Eh. Really? Yeah. So I don't know if the same thing will work. 
uh, in the race or not. Interesting. Then that could be very helpful because one the, thing mm. that I notice a lot of people doing in this race is mm. for the final sprint to the line. Yeah. They drop a small downhill. Yeah. They drop an uphill to the to the finish. Yeah. And people will drop their wheels on the downhill, but because it's so short, mm -hmm. carries over to the uphill. Yeah. And Which is a huge disadvantage, right? Yeah. Actually, point, yeah. You think? I had as well, and <laughs> really just an all-out sprint heads down. I only look up to see whether I'm I'm over the top of the hill. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. Gotta, I got. I think I gotta play so on. I was it. Pushing and then I was resting a little bit on the flat here, and mm -hmm. you see people start Which overtaking me. I was a bit tired already, and then I was thinking like, "Shit, I might, I might get dropped here for real." <laughs> yeah, so I sort of rested on the flat there. You see my speed drop a bit, and people mm. started overtaking. Mm. This left turn is actually very dangerous. That's where yeah, everyone so push down. Seven, I was hoping yeah. Reach the top of the hill. Yeah. Oh shit! I really needed that top. <laughs> Oh, ah, safe zone. This is the safe zone, right? You drop the feather, uh, feather here, right? Just to catch back on. Yeah, no, I mean like, I just use whatever I can use. Yeah, I didn't have a feather, so I needed to make sure I get over the top. Yeah. And rest with the, the end view. Mm. Okay, let's move on to the sprint segment. The thing is, if you see, right, for this segment, they didn't really thin the group because once they got over the downhill, nobody actually attacked. Mm. Everybody was still resting. Mm. So it was easy for the other group to catch back on. Mm. Uh, you see, I messaged you there that. Yeah. So. So the sprint has finished. We gotta talk about this. So yeah. you you knew you knew about my game plan, and then it was near the sprint where I saw the message, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta tell us what is your evil plot. So I I know everybody is gonna push for this. Sprint. Mm -hmm. uh, for the points. Mm -hmm. Looking at the past few laps mm -hmm. and. At this point, I think everybody is going to be real, real tired. My plan right. was to not expend as much energy mm -hmm. on testing the sprint mm -hmm. and then attacking while everybody was resting. Mm. Hoping you, I don't know, maybe push a bit more effort and catch onto my wheel mm -hmm. and before my break away. Mm -hmm. uh, things didn't go as planned. As you see me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see me typing on my phone. Right? Yep. I'm messaging you, I'm going to attack after the sprint. Mm -hmm. Try and mm -hmm. let whether we can create a break. Right. So the hill is about to start. Um, I actually took a brief look to my left. What I was doing <laughs> was actually checking the distance. Oh shit! Faster. I saw your oh shit face. That, that was your oh shit face. Just for two seconds, I turned back. Suddenly there's a gap. At this point, I'm thinking, oh. oh. This, this cost me a lot of energy. Right, right, right. So not only am I not drafting, I need to push a bit harder just to catch on with the rest of the group. Mm. And I have to filter through all these all these people who got dropped mm. to catch on to the main group. And to it, be honest, I almost gave up. But that, that was actually a blessing in disguise, right? Because the, the group got thin out, so you get to catch one by one. You hop onto their draft, and then the next draft, and then the next draft. Yeah, but it was still really difficult. Correct, so at this correct. point, right, I yeah. was barely catching on to the group in front and I was about to give up. Right. And then you see the winner of the race, spoiler alert, coming past. And this guy actually gave me the motivation to catch back on. If he didn't appear at this time, I think I would have given up the chase. Oh, shit. Oh, that, that, that was really a close one. Yeah, it was very, very, very close. Back to the back to the group drafting. Yeah. Because there, there, there's no one else behind you already. Eh? So all of them all gave up already. Yep. My god. So I need to thank the winner. <laughs> <laughs> if he didn't show up at that moment, I would have given up. Okay, then with that, let's move on to that finish. F top 10 finish for yourself. Um, let's move on to... The last, uh, yeah. last six hundred meters, perhaps. Okay, so yeah. Um, after that, that 
horrendous chase. I'm just trying to rest up as much as possible. Right. You can see my wattage is relatively low. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually not very sure if I could even contest the final sprint, mm -hmm. given the effort I just put up. Right. But yeah, let's fast forward a little bit. And one thing to note is I have a feather. Mm -hmm. So we were watching the squirrel and the same thing happened, right? Yep. Um, so this is what, this is where the attacks started to begin. Yeah. You see people dropping the really anvil, pushed, right? Yeah, dropping the anvil and pushing on this downhill. Mm -hmm. My goal here was just to try and stick with them as long as possible without going into like zone six. Mm -hmm. And then once I hit the climb, I dropped the feather and attack. So that's what I did. And like at this point, you see all the anvil people are slowing down. Right, right. I'm just trying my best to catch up and possibly right. even overtake them. Mm. I actually timed the feather right until the very end. So when I hit that, then I realized like, oh fuck, my legs are so tired. And I was like, oh shit. Then there's a gap between myself and you and the front group. And I was like, oh shit, I, I think I messed up. So, so yeah, with this, this was our stage two of the Zwift Racing League. Um, super tiring and I think the next one with a lot of points up for grabs is stage 4 at Shams LSA, right? 6 laps, you said? Yeah, 6 laps, yeah. It's gonna be spicy. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Okay, so I think that should be all. Okay. Right, thanks John. See you all again. See you John, bye-bye. Nice one John.